What's up, Chris Pastors here for Inside Skate, and we are here in the LES at the brand new park for the sixth annual Harold Hunter Day. We're gonna get the lowdown on Harold himself, his sense of humor, his legacy, and also learn about the Harold Hunter Foundation. Describe how Harold's loss affected New York City. I mean, Harold was just someone that knew everyone, you know what I mean? So when he passed, it was just like, a chill went through New York City, everyone just, it hit everybody. You know, Harold's death had a huge impact on the New York skate scene. Harold was like an ambassador for skateboarding in New York City to me. Uh, something that I grew up, you know, watching him skate, always seeing him around. Truly, a true personality of New York City skateboarding. And uh, it was a huge loss. I mean, there was, a, there was definitely, uh, I'd really say, a hole left in the heart of New York City skateboarding when Harold passed away. how the whole Harold Hunter Day concept came about. Uh, at the time, uh, I was working on a, a new era hat with Harold as a collaboration, and uh, we just kind of finished it. It was going to production, Harold passed, and uh, you know, the idea was to do some kind of party, but it turned into more of a uh, memorial party, you know, and something that's like a celebration of who Harold was. So I followed through and we launched Harold Hunter Day. That was six years ago. And here we are at Harold Hunter Day 6 having a good time. Basically, it's just like a day for all of Harold's friends just to get together, show the kids what Harold was about. It's like all about like fun and like all skating together. And like now we have this beautiful park. So it's just like a fun day to like remember Harold and you know, just skate and have fun. like a day for everyone to get together and have a good time in the name of uh, the late but great Harold Hunter, it's the man. Just something where we can all meet as one as skateboarders and celebrate the one and only. <laughs> it's a celebration which gives back to New York City. Pretty much uh, what happened is uh, being that I'm a New York person, I was born here, raised here, New York gave a lot to us. So what we're doing is uh, giving back to the kids that helped us support us growing up in life, you know? What we do is try to raise money to actually give back to the kids. So we send them to camps like Woodward, Etnies, and uh, help them to uh, go further in their sport. Every year it does get better. There's more support. We have a couple new sponsors this year. We're just looking at all the people here, looking at all the pros that came out. You're here, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. You can see it's something that people care about and that people want to see succeed. And uh, it is amazing, you know? Yeah. So now we have pop-up contests, we have mega product toss, we have bigger sponsors on board, bigger crowd, better skate park. Like, just the evolution, man. You know what I mean? This, like, Harold Hunter Day continues. You look at the support today and all the people that are coming out for Harold and the Harold Hunter Foundation, it's huge. So it was something that was a huge loss, but at the same time, you know, it's something that is creating something amazing for New York City. Bless a rock guest when I went polo. The bitches say, oh no, who's that guy? His name is Harold. I skateboard every single day. From here to LA, I don't play. Harold was a was a character. He's like um he's amazing. Like he's just one of those people that like you'll see him and you meet him and then it's like you're automatically his best friend and he treated everyone with all his heart like as the best they can be. I'm from New York. I don't know, he was wild. He was a wild dude, very charismatic, super funny, always uh, very random, you know? But uh, he always kept a positive head on his shoulders, always made everyone laugh, you know? If you had a bad day, he was the one to like help pick you up, you know? He was like always like super cool to everybody and like, you know, that's a gig with anybody. He was like super nice dude. I mean, he was basically the embodiment of New York skateboarding. Like, everywhere you went, he made sure you brought New York with him. So, like, uh, I don't know. You can't even put it into words. 
This is a great honor on his behalf. Harold Hunter was very influential to my generation and the generation after mine, you know? So he's someone that um, I think is influential to, to the whole world, not just New York City. What do you think he would think of this day? Oh man, he'd be psyched. He'd be psyched. He'd be like, yo, bro. Like, he'd be psyched. He'd be going crazy right now. Well, that's a wrap. I'm Chris Patrick for Inside Skate. I hope you guys learned something about Harold, his legacy, and even his foundation. For more information on the Harold Hunter Foundation, go to haroldhunter.org. Peace, legends never die.